Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma. So I'm going to do Virgos for July 2022. Let's see what are the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and Virgos. This is going to be a general reading. So whatever resonates, take it. What does not, leave it. For more accurate readings, you can reach out to me for personals on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Details are given below. And also do I pray based spells if you want to reach out to me the seeds have started to become available and you can reach out and quickly book if you're interested and uh, follow me on Instagram for daily free horoscopes monthly free horoscopes and all the updates and feedbacks regarding my services and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on your sign. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Devil, the Star, the Two of Wands, the bottom is the Eight of Pentacles. So what I'm feeling over here is that there's someone that is extremely obsessed or I would say maybe jealous of you because right now Virgo what you're doing is you're... <clears throat> you're surpassing your competitors and you're making it big or you're in a journey to make it big you're going to do something big like a lot of money coming in i'm also seeing there are comp competitors who are also growing with your own growth and they might not be happy with your success so there will be a lot of haters during your process of becoming successful this could be a Capricorn, this could be an Aquarius. But what I'm seeing is that, Virgo, you might be trusting the wrong person. And if it's not the case, then there is someone that is like, like obsessively watching you, okay, and is feeling extremely attracted. This person is extreme level attracted towards you, Virgos, okay. And I'm seeing some sort of a lustier side, okay? Maybe they're on the lustier side. Um, yes, there is a lot of passion. They feel. I feel there's something about your looks that like literally makes this person crazy, okay? So they're being like, uh, they have options and they are talking to some people online maybe. But what they're interested in is you as an overall personality Virgo that you are. Because you're nurturing, you're caring, you're comforting, you you look great, you're confident, you're calm, you're soft-spoken. And there's a lot of energy in you. And you're always full of life when this person reaches out to you. So there's some sort of a healing power that attracts them all the time towards you. I feel like this person is getting seduced and more and more and more and more, you know, when they think about you, they just, you know, they just have no control over you. So I feel there's someone that wants to never let you go. That's the energy that I'm getting. This is a strong fire energy. I feel they have a lot of fire in them. And extremely passionate about you, I feel. Okay. I'm also seeing maybe you're dealing with someone that has anger issues. All right. Temperance. Okay, probably a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. And then we have the, ooh, King of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Cups. And we have the Four of Swords. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. And we have the King of, I knew it. So what I'm seeing, Virgo, is that there are two people that are extremely attracted to you. Okay. That is why I was getting a devil energy and then two of cups. It's telling me that you have options over here with the two of wands as well. You have options, okay, Virgos. You might be talking to both of them. But there's no one that you're actually giving a lot of or paying a lot of heed to or even uh, worried about, okay. But there are these two options in which one of the options is someone that is extremely comfortable 
and is the one meant for you like is is on on your page okay that is probably your soulmate and there's one option that is just going crazy over you is falling in love with you and i feel like somewhere you might be like getting overwhelmed with so much of attention with these people coming in i'm seeing like there's this one person that is obsessively falling in love with you and then there is the another one that is just more calmer and more soother and is on a more practical or logical way in approaching so somewhere i feel like you're making a decision and you need some time off you need your own time where you can actually figure out what is exactly going on in your life what you need to do right now because i'm seeing two options coming in okay and both of them want your love one is extremely stable and patient another one is impatient just going crazy in love with you so both are equally great but the problem is you are confused you're stuck between these options some way i feel like you need need some time off you need to breathe so that you can just think over it whatever is going on in your life okay you're not right now very much ready to give into any of these okay so this is a time for you to make a decision discover the pros and cons of falling in love with this person or that person how will it be so that's that's what you're doing someone may not even be allowing you to think things through before deciding the wheel of fortune i'm sensing there's an energy of a sagittarius that is around and then we have the emperor and then we have the chariot there are a lot of major arcanas over here and that two very strong ones and then we have the five of pentacles and then we have the three of wands and we have the ten of wands okay i think you are not talking to the person that is extremely interested in you you're not talking to them okay maybe you are interested in them and they're not talking to you but i feel like there's someone that is in your mind that you're not talking to or they're not talking to i feel like more on the on your side that you're you putting this person in no contact i feel like this is feeling like a burden to this person like they want to you know catch your attention they want to have you they want to they want you to be like look at me focus on me but you're looking elsewhere that's the energy that you're giving because you're full of options here there could be more than two as well i'm also seeing an aries or a cancer person that is extremely concerned about you i'm also seeing an age difference maybe this is an older person but i feel like there's this one person that is extremely patient and slow moving towards you but they know that they want you and they will have you that's the faith they have but then there is the other, another one that is like too panicked and is not ready to wait okay and that is the person that you might have put them on a no contact right now okay and this is a person that is like going crazy and is not letting you go and wants to change things and wants your attention but somewhere they feel like you're not interested airy sagittarius leo energy the 10 of cups the 9 of wands and then the lovers again i'm seeing virgos you are having a lot of options and the one that is like going crazy over you and maybe asking you to get married to them is a little afraid of the new person that is in your life and i feel like they might be feeling a big competition with someone that is in your life that is a new person in your life virgos but i feel like there are two people that you're dealing with mainly and the one that is fallen in love with you is afraid of this new option that has come into your life they are feeling it's become a bigger challenge and what they want to offer you is directly marriage okay and that might be like surprisingly this is your karmic that wants to marry you so basically you have options here i'm also seeing 
with the lovers and the six of cups is someone this could be someone from the past that is coming back and if they're coming back they're going to ask you for marriage and if they are not the past person this is definitely someone new that is it in your life that wants you obsessively and this is actually not a karmic this is your soulmate okay could be a gemini they're pretty uh confident about the fact that they're going to win you over you're like a trophy for this person they're not gonna let you go and yes i feel like this person wants to hug your heart because i feel the one that you're not focusing on is the one that is going crazy over you more and that is the one that should get this chance of knowing you okay so what I'm seeing is four of pentacles is this person is ready to make any like they can go to any level to make this thing work out according to you. They want to work hard on this connection. They don't want to lose you. I'm also seeing they want, they're desperate to hug you. That is what I'm seeing. Yeah, there's a lot of love. I'm feeling like you might be talking to someone else because you have options here. But the one that you're completely ignoring is someone that is willing to give you that type of love and commitment that you are actually looking for. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, you may have to keep your options open because there's someone that is coming into your life that might be a little uh, naive in approaching, but this person has a lot to give to you. Okay, This could be a Pisces person. They also sometimes have a feeling of like you are so lucky that you have options and they don't have any ones. Some of them like put themselves in an inferiority complex position and that is also why the confidence in their part is sometimes lacking when they feel that they should have you. Okay, This person is feeling like they have to have you by a lot of struggle, by a lot of hard work. So I'm definitely seeing this person is going to make a lot of efforts regarding this. Then we have the tower moment and then we have the fire sign. I'm also seeing um, Aries Sagittarius Leo. What I'm seeing Virgo is that this may come off as extremely overwhelming to you Virgos and you might end up blocking this person. Like you might get blindfolded to their actions. You might feel that they are being more of a stalker energy rather than a loving energy and you might be like getting angry on them and you might have blocked them recently or if not this may happen in july so i feel like somewhere this person may make you angry okay this could be someone from your workplace but anywho i feel this person will find a way out to reach out to you and let you know that they want you and they will have you by hook or by crook so i'm seeing like they may be taking um uh, advice of a third party maybe your mutual friends to get back to you and i feel like they have their this thing on their mind that they are not going to allow the separation to happen this person is not ready to let the separation happen to you uh who goes this person is not ready to do that i feel like they know that they know exactly what you want but you might not trust this person of what they can what they are capable of giving it to you okay somewhere i feel like virgos you're also looking for some time off from all these things you want to be left alone and you want to focus or concentrate on self-exploration do your own thing i feel like uh, you're right now in the journey of being more spiritual and feeling more relaxed and calmer and happier in your own life but you don't know that the one that is like struggling to get your attention is someone that can give you a lot, okay? And you mean the world to this person, trust me. So this could be a Sagittarius very strongly and they're not happy with the fact that you're not trusting them maybe in the past. All right, so what I feel like they're very sad, they're extremely sad and disappointed with their own behavior, like what they did in the past might have hurt you and left you there or maybe this is a new person that is not able to find a place in your heart so something is making them feel extremely nauseous i would say like very sad and i feel like they are not ready to let you go because this, you mean the world to this person you like their ultimate happiness i'm also seeing somewhere maybe in the past you have gone through a big breakup and you might have told this to them and they sympathize they started to sympathize with that 
feeling okay for you and those immense like they are fully loyal and i'm seeing this could be a strong aries sagittarius or a leo energy that is after you this person wants to give you the happiness i feel like virgos there has been a lot in love that has happened in your life and you don't want to deal with it anymore somewhere like you just want to just get away from everything and just be alone and have fun okay um somewhere i feel they want to be your company they want to be by your side and they want to be you know uh they want to see you happy in short yes and i feel that you're an extremely strong and confident personality and there's a lot of money that you might be earning or you have a well off life okay you have good status and sophisticated personality and this person is like they just want to let you know that you're you're not an ordinary thing you're you're someone that should value yourself and not just get into that feeling of sadness of not having one in your life right so i'm definitely seeing a marriage proposal they see you as the one because this person is someone that could be at a high position in their workplace they may have gotten a recent divorce or something there may have been some uh, issues in their life there may be an age difference and that is why vogos you're not very comfortable opening up to them but i feel like this is someone that wants to actually treat you like a prince or a princess yes i'm seeing with the hero font and the empress together they want to marry you this is a very clear thing and this could be a taurus person or a cancer person or a leo person <clears throat> but they feel like you're the ultimate happiness and you're the only way of through which they can become extremely successful and some way you push them subconsciously you have that energy to influence this person in such a great way and this person's love is never ending towards you can see there's so many nice cards that are coming in there is a lot of passion there is a lot of you know, like major crush you're their crush okay let me get a love message for you Virgo's transformation your relationship is going to deepen so i feel like whatever or whoever this person is that you're not giving a chance or you're not talking to or the one that is coming into your life and you might not take them seriously initially this person is going to make it obvious that things are going to get deep okay and i feel like things a lot of things uh, that are going to happen in both of your life is going to have major impact in bringing major changes in both of your lives okay so i'm definitely seeing marriage proposal i'm definitely seeing um uh, something like uh, an engagement happening okay like putting a ring on finger like either one of you whoever is a man or a masculine personality here flirting forgiving and learning release your ex something from the past is stuck in your head and if that is so it is important for you to let it go so that you can allow this person to come into your life that is going crazy in love with you and i feel like they want you to become more expressive because this person wants to hear from you what exactly you feel this new person deception and passion okay and then we have engagement i told you there is something about the engagement thing i'm feeling like here there has been uh, you have been expressing your feelings to the person in the past that you still expect that somewhere there is something from your end that has not be been complete and that is why the situations didn't work out well the thing is you have to stop focusing on this person that you need to release now and let it go and move forward because expressing your love to the wrong person is only going to make you feel worst okay and i'm feeling like after this you see that um someone also made fake promises in the past with you virgos okay and i'm also seeing this could be someone that was younger or older coming from a different religion and you guys might have gotten engaged in the past and things didn't work out okay there was an extreme passion so this is someone from the past that you're still trying to get over or you had a past like that okay but yes there's someone that is coming in for a chance and there's a huge chemistry this is very strongly possible the past changing for you okay 
if it is a recent past and if it's a far past and there's someone just recently you've met okay so this is someone that is worth waiting for and you have to be a little patient with their what they have to say with what they have to say okay all right the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits this is a soulmate this is a very clear message that the one that is coming into your life it is because the angels are bringing this person closer to you if the one that is meant to be in your life will make every effort to be in your life be it older one be it a newer one but they're going to make all the efforts to have you in their life i feel this is your soulmate that is coming in now let me see more to this logos Officials could be someone that is an official person that might be at a higher ranking job that has a name and fame for themselves and there's they have a job permanency and they love to work for their country or something like that. They have a very high ranking job, I'm feeling. Life is a mystery. You cannot say that uh, miracles do not happen. Anything can turn around for you and very strongly I'm feeling for someone out there there is this very slight chance that the past person is changing completely for you. But for most of you, I'm seeing this new person is bringing in a lot in, the, in, your, in, in your life. And you should be ready to accept by letting go of the past completely. Discipline. Stay focused and have one vision in order to manifest it. Imagine. And then we have revealing your true self i'm also seeing virgos that um, whatever you want should be first of all you should dream about it okay and work on it you shouldn't be like okay i want this and you're not working on it and you're doing other things and you're distracting yourself from your goal so what do you want <clears throat> And then how do you visualize it? Like it's talking a lot about the visualization thing. Okay. And then I feel that that's how you're going to actually find your life purpose. Somewhere your life purpose is uh, asking you to open up. Coming, coming together, I'm also seeing like, yes, you guys may be meeting your kids. Otherwise, you're definitely going to be in a union with your lover with your actual lover look at the bigger picture things are happening in the bigger way transformations are happening i'm feeling like in your uh, career front there are some big changes that are ready to take a toll like not in a bad way like it's going to make something big changes big changes are coming this could be a sagittarius and then we have right now it's time for you to just relax and stay are calm and in a meditated state because i'm feeling somewhere there are a lot of options that are getting that you're getting confused of and you don't even know what to do with the past person so there are a lot of things that are like kind of getting messed up in your mind and it's time that you should filter it so first that is a proper goal in your mind and then work on it start uh, visualizing it i'm also seeing meditation will help you gather all the thoughts in a proper sequence and know what exactly is to be done now let's see the signs that are coming forth for virgos taurus libra capricorn okay All right, so I'm definitely seeing love happening in your life. Take care of your health. Major ending needs to take place in order to have a new beginning. I'm also seeing you will be finally separating from the past in order to bring this new love into your life. I'm also seeing that you'll be taking interest in sports. You might be taking interest in exercise and building your body. Okay, toning yourself up, which is a good step. Okay, certain changes, certain little changes is going to bring um a lot of positivity and raise your vibrations so i'll see from aries to pisces your person how do they feel and this uh, 
first week of July. How would that be feeling? Aries is obsessing, like lusting over you. Okay, or I feel like this is like a codependency, like they just cannot function without you. This could be someone from the past as well. Taurus is feeling alone, but I feel they're trying to gather the courage to come towards you soon. Gemini is having a lot to tell you, and I feel they're going to come towards you, but right now they might be busy. Cancer sees you as someone that is their world, and the Leo person is offering you commitment right away. And the Virgo is waiting for the right time to heal connection or healing themselves. Or this is you healing yourself. Libra is ending this, okay? Things didn't work out. Scorpio is like becoming more free in their approach. And they feel like they can communicate with you anything that they want to. And they feel very excited to have you around. Sagittarius is quite confused. And... Uh, they're not happy with the ending or they're not happy with maybe you guys had a fight recently and they're not happy with it and they're going through a lot. Uh, Capricorn kind of wants a break and I feel like you guys, there's some sort of an ego clash going on so they need some time to cleanse themselves. Aquarius is extremely passionate and will call you and tell you how much they like you. And we have Pisces feels a strong bond towards you. They feel like there's something that instantly connects them with you. So they're not letting you go so easily. So that is it, Virgos. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell. Comment below. Let me know how this resonated. I will see you next time with more videos like this. Bye-bye.